hey everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i will show you how we how to create a custom validation rule in laravel and use it in inside the filament forms uh, if you are working with filament and you need the custom validation beyond the laravel's built-in rules and this is for you but before that uh, let's talk about the last community post so in my last community post i asked these questions and give you and give you the cache and there are the four options as the queries right so uh, we need to face the latest second uh, registered user right on the basis of created it so for this uh, um, 40% of people have chosen option a and d 20% option B and 0% option C uh, let's take test this so for this what I have done is I have just added a sheet for users just added some tables here and I have, you can see I have filtered it from the created it right so now yeah so according to our case uh, we should get uh, this user right 37 uh, MC Kyla Blanda PSG something like that because this is the second last registered user yeah so so for that what I have done is uh, in my route check answers so I have created the four uh, queries I have just pasted them from these options so let us check one by one so let's go to through the last so let me first uh, test check this and I will explain what it does okay so let me go to my check answer route and if I try to here I just get the URL of Kelly Langworth so it is not you are a user which is the last one right so what does it do is if you check the query it will uh, so this is the simple part right it will just uh, reorder it on the basis of create descending order in the basis of created it meaning the format that we have here it's okay perfect right so take two it means it will just take the first two uh, records so the first two are 43 and 37 and among them it will just get the first uh, it will just uh, return the first record so which is the first record for us this is the first record so this 40 percent people are wrong so let us check second option i think this is uh, almost okay zero percent none of them have bought and this is for sure because it is uh, order by created it and but we need the order by descending right so it will just get i uh, let us just check still we have got it uh, uh delbot and russian which may be in the second last meaning it's the second user the logic is almost same it will order but in the ascending order of created it and it will limit it by two meaning we will just get the two records and among them it will get the last record so last will be so it will record these two and the last means this one right so this is absolutely wrong option so now this uh, how many of they have voted okay this is voted by 20% let's just check it okay I am getting test at the rate test.com okay this third option so how user latest means it is automatically uh, it's the same like uh, we are arranging it uh, ascend, uh, descending it in the created it right it's the same latest means the latest one it will take from the last to first right uh, 43 37 like that and it will offset to offset to means it will skip that two it just skips this two and then it gets the another one so which is the another is the test user so this is also wrong option so it means the right person sir is this if let us check yeah okay p as something p as yeah here is the user so what is this it will decide order them by created it 
then it is it will skip the first record but if we check here we are on the last so it this is the case right we have this on the basis of order and it will skip the first record uh, meaning it will skip this 43 number id record and it will return the first then the first will be abs absolutely this one so this is the correct answer so uh thank you guys uh, thank you and congratulations to all those who were correct and so now after i publish this video i will again try to publish uh, the question here which we will be discussing in the next video so let's get back to our video so uh, let me go to our not here i think it's app right no admin okay so here uh, I can't see the uh, suitable way to show you the part of this but since it is the one of the required uh, required so what I am was planning is what we will do is for now uh, it may not be the suitable case but I just want to show how we, you can implement this right so for now what I will do is if I will just check the name and the category id okay meaning that the same product cannot be in the multiple category for now i know it's not the suitable case but i just want to show you how we can use the custom rules right so meaning so for example uh, let me edit this so laptop is al already in hardware so now if i will try to add as uh, again the laptop in hardware it will throw the error because it is already in the category id right so for this part we are just going to create a custom validation uh, if you want to uh, return guide i have also created the i have also written an article on this so i will put the link in the description so you can check this part okay let's get okay so let's start okay let me just open my terminal and let me just create the rule so like right here a unique product in category validation rule we have a validate method right so what we'll uh, do is uh, let me just go to it so we have the product we are validating the product right and besides that we have the category id so what we will do is we are checking the product will match with category or not so we must need to pass the category id the user has selected so for that uh, i assume for now we will get the category id right uh, so inside the our constructor method uh, i assume category id will be there so that i will just uh, assign it to my category id now this category id is accessible on my class right so now how we can validate so now product equals to this is the attribute this is the value and this is the fail condition remember right uh, so the since we are using this uh, validation on name we'll get the name here value means the user input value there right so what i will do is product where we have the category id right uh, dollar this category sorry uh, category id where we have the name if this name also match this exist is uh, product exist let's say right if is this product exist mean our category id is that particular category id that user has passed and the name if it exists if dollar exist then it's the fail condition for us right so what we can do is dollar fail and pass the message so what will be our message uh, product is already uh, let's say link to the given category let's try this okay so this makes our code uh, sorry our validation rule ready to use so now how we will going to use it so for that uh, let us go to product resource page here so we can always change the rules method 
absolutely right and then I will just uh, use callable get so you were think you may think why we are using this because we need the part that category ID so we can get from this method right helper so now uh, let me just return in the array uh, what is a uh, new so my class name is unique product in category right and I need to pass the category ID which is inside my get category ID I have we have already uh, discussed about this right uh, how we can get or how we can share the values in the form so now you if we do this right so uh, we are passing the category ID inside our unique product in category ID so before starting let me just uh, try show you we have category ID let's say we have attribute and we have value let us check these things let me refresh this okay here let's say laptop code is random hardware kilogram okay price is random quantity everything is random so if I try to do here you can see one one means the category ID right and data dot name is the attribute for that uh, this attribute name if you remember uh, the form uh, are directly linked to data state path is always data data dot name data the laptop data dot category ID right and if you see here the third is laptop which is the product name that I entered here right so now let us let me try to save here so I think it should give us through us the error yes product is already linked to the given category right so this is what I want to show you in this video thank you guys for watching this video hope you like this video